In this video, I'm going to reveal to you how I got scammed out of over $100 thousand dollars I'm going to reveal exactly what happened and hopefully you don't fall into the same thing how do I get scammed and what scam me so give me a drum roll please that scam is college college absolutely scam me out of one hundred thousand dollars plus I went to Rutgers University in New Jersey it's not the cheapest state school and I'm gonna to reveal to you why it's a scam what happened and everything you need to know so you don't fall into the same trap let's go over college for a second now college in my opinion is the greatest marketing ploy of all time what do I mean by that college the way it's designed it is absolutely ridiculous that people like parents pressure their kids to go to something like college college has its importance if you're gonna be a lawyer a doctor probably a teacher college you should probably go but a bunch of other things like I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this video can agree what you learn in college actually very little or nothing applies to your real life job i had an internship for five days and i went to the business school rutgers university and what i learned in the business school versus what i was doing as being a financial analyst and in my internship job was not even close like i didn't use anything i learned from school and that's kind of what got me thinking like wow college this is crazy so let's go over college for a second and why i think it's the greatest marketing scheme of all time so college it is a 1950s, 1960s, 1970s institution. What do I mean by that? It is designed for the 70s and the 70s and the 80s and the 90s. You needed a degree to get a job. That's how it was designed. With the internet, okay, it changed everything. Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. The average salary you get out of college is $55,000. The average student debt is $40,000. The average amount of time it takes to pay back that debt is about 10 years. So think about this for a second. You go to college for four years to learn skills you're probably not going to use, almost none of them. The best skill you'll probably learn is time management, honestly. That's what I learned from college. So you're going to go there for four years, pay $100,000 in total student debt sometimes it's 40 sometimes it's 60 sometimes it's 80 depends on where you go I actually just got off the phone to someone and he told me he was in over a hundred thousand dollars of student debt he went to Duke University private university so you go to school for four years to learn things you're not gonna use to get out of school to hopefully find a job hopefully to hopefully make fifty thousand dollars a year to pay back a debt that's gonna be lingering over your head for ten years plus doesn't that seem a little bit ridiculous and the crazy thing about it is parents pressure their kids to get into this. And it leads into what I like to call the rat race. Now, not everybody hates their job, of course. I'm not going to say an absolute statement and everyone hates their job. But there's a lot of people who would rather work for themselves and have time freedom rather than getting into a job. But once you get into college, you're putting yourself into this race that you'll never be able to win okay you get out of college you're in debt you need to find a job you have these monthly payments that are building up so you get a job and now you need to, you need this job for the next five six ten years to pay off this debt and now all of a sudden you find a girl you get married you're still paying off this debt now you have a mortgage and you're never able to take a calculated risk and start a business and do something for yourself because you just put yourself in this massive hole when you were 18 years old going into college it's just one thing leads to another into another into another and that's why i like to call it the rat race and many people do as well and i can tell you from personal experience i'm a set i'm not saying this to be cocky but i'm saying this to hopefully give you guys some insight i'm a seven figure business owner we i have 13 employees and i've hired 20 plus in my lifetime and i have never once ever 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 not for a sales marketing coaching job nothing i've never looked at a resume ever the way I make judgments about people and whether I should hire someone is purely based off how personable they are, how hard of a worker they are. A big thing I look at is how fast they take to respond to me because that's how fast they're probably gonna respond to customers. If I'm paying somebody, they better respond to me very quickly because if they're not gonna respond to someone that's their money source and someone that's paying them, how are they going to respond to my students or how they're going to respond to customers okay that's a huge thing i look at but none of that 
you're lear you learn in college, and none of that has to do with college. I don't care what someone got a grade in, in Algebra 2 or expository writing or any of these crazy classes you'll never use in your lifetime, okay? So that, I got scammed out of 100,000. Thankfully, in my last year, I kind of picked up on it that I didn't want to lead myself into this rat race. And what should you do if you don't go to college, right? You don't want to get a minimum wage job, right? Then you might just be working a minimum wage job the rest of your life. The most important skill you can ever learn, ever, ever learn in your whole entire life is sales, okay? If you don't know what to do, get into sales. Why? It's commission basis, which means you can make infinite amounts of money, not infinite, but it's very scalable. Well, a big thing I hear from people is that they bust their butt for their company and they're getting these minimal three, five, six percent raises. If you're not happy with making a having minimal upside with your job, get a commission-based job. The better you are, the more money you make. A lot of my employees are on a commission basis and I've paid out 15, 16, 18 thousand dollars in one month to an employee. That's because he was very good at what he did. He was very good at selling my program and therefore he was rewarded for it, okay? So that's number one. And number two, besides from making a lot of money, something like sales gives you time freedom, okay? Why? Because there's so many sales jobs nowadays you can do from your laptop and all you need is the internet and you can be anywhere in the world, all right? If you have a regular corporate job, and once again, I'm not saying this to bash corporate America, that's really not my intention. I'm just saying this, I'm just, this is just coming from my own personal experience. If you have a corporate job and you're commuting an hour there, an hour back, eight hours a day, you don't have upside with your job, your brain just begins to fog and you get mental fatigue and also commuting an hour there, hour back, that's two total hours a day you're wasting. If you get a job in sales and you work from your computer, you take calls, you can, you can set your own calendar, especially if you're good, you can take off whenever you want. My sales reps, if someone is having a really good month and he's really good and he says, hey Eric, um, you know, I wanna take Thursday and Friday off, I'm going to the Caribbean for the weekend. I'm not going to say no. This person is making me a ton of money, right? So college, I advise against it. I think it's a total scam nowadays. And I think college is going to adjust kind of towards like the coaching model and online and teaching skills that actually are useful. I would definitely recommend getting into sales. And the last thing I'll say about college and how, kind of how it compares to online and coaching, because I own an online coaching program, so I'm immersed in this world of coaching is I want you to think about this for a second. People will jump into college, getting into 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars of debt to put themselves in this rat race and probably be miserable out of college and working a job they probably don't want to work. They're more than happy to do that. But when it comes to online coaching, paying for a course or a program that's actually going to teach you a tangible skill like sales, for example, or making money in sports cards, for example, and let's say this program costs two, three, five, six, eight thousand dollars. People are like, oh my God, that's so much money. But it's the same person that went to college and they're in a hundred thousand dollars of debt and they're not happy with their lives, right? When you think about it like that, it's crazy. And at the end of the day, the most important thing in life, I believe, is time freedom. It's not necessarily making eight million dollars a year. It's having time freedom. Maybe that's only making 70, 60, 50, 80, $100,000, but you can take off when you want. You're not stressing about commuting and waking up at 6 a.m. and having to make it to your job. The most important thing is time freedom. And learning sales gives you time freedom. Going into college and working for someone else and working for the man does not give you time freedom, right? You have a boss breathing down your neck and you know, you're always like in this stage of like a fear of getting fired and all this stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sure there will be a bunch of hate comments. Leave it below. I'm more than happy to respond to hate, to love, anything you guys got. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, watch the videos down below. Um, some videos if you enjoyed this, you may enjoy them as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.